Welcome to this Globstrat tutorial on the decision-making process. Every year, you will be provided with pages of decision and budget estimates, which will allow you, through successive iterations, to refine your decisions before submitting them to the market. From the main menu, select the decision page. The tabs shows here will allow you to navigate between the various departments of your company from marketing to finance. The marketing tab allows you to manage your business cup via the world map, as you can see here, and the six sales agencies that are available in your own market. Right here, you can see it through the pins. The number of agencies determines your customer proximity on the market, to increase this number, click on a blank area, like this one. To reduce this number, click on an existing agency, like this one. To internationalize your business, install or move at least one agency to a new market and then select at least one distribution platform below. Distribution platforms will open or close and provide access to the corresponding clientele. Initially, you are only able to sell your products in three market segments via three platforms in your own market. It is advised that you do not deactivate one of these platforms too quickly as this would close the market segment instantly and deprive you of about one third of your revenues without being sure to get it elsewhere. In the event that you do deactivate a platform, know that this will erase all the sales decisions made in regard to the relevant market segment and will effectively exit you from this market. If you were to change your mind, you would be required to re-enter your sales objectives and price decisions. Otherwise, you would not be making sales to this clientele. However, when going international, you are recommended to activate selectively the platforms corresponding to your target customers, allowing you to progressively specialize your business. Finally, you can manage your advertising policy at the bottom of the page. There are six advertising campaigns that can be proposed by market to two target clientels, general public and or professionals. It is up to you to decide which ones are the best choices based on target audience and advertising budget. The sales page allows you to define your customer proposition through setting your sales volume objective for each market segment given market growth and the market share you target. Defining the percentage of your sales objective that you intend to achieve for each product. The total percentage of these should add up to 100%. Setting your sales price for each product sold in a market segment. When a new product is developed, a new line appears automatically for each new product. A price of zero indicates that the concerned product is not on sale and won't be sold. Choosing the installation service level of quality and its cost for you. Selecting new online services that you intend to include in your value proposition to improve after sales service. Each decision page is structured in a similar way. Each decision page contains an interrogation point icon to the left of the eating. Clicking this button reveals contextual help, explaining the nature of the decision, its investment or exploitation cost, as well as its potential impact. Inputting decision is done by clicking the relevant check box or inputting an integer number. The sales objectives history N-1 can be viewed on the right of the entry, it indicated in Brax. At the bottom of the page, there are buttons that allow you to save your decisions. This will upload your data to the server and allow your peers to
to keep up to date with saved decision, provided they have refreshed their page. This will also allow you to visualize the projected graphs based on your sales objectives. This can be found on the right side of the page. The three graphs visualize 1. Your profit loss forecasts, revenues and operating expenses. The second one, financing forecast, investments and current financing. The third one, cash flow forecast for the end of the year. If these graphs do not provide sufficient detail, you can generate a forecast by clicking the button at the bottom of the page. This will generate detailed numerical forecasts, which, through multiple iterations, can show the effect of your decisions on the resulting forecasts, in order to refine your decisions. Note that all forecasts displayed are based on the sales objectives you have set and on saved expenses decisions. The expense forecasts are accurate, however, actual sales depend on how achievable your sales goals are. Since objectives have no impact on real sales, you should not allow yourself to be fooled by overly optimistic forecasts that could ultimately lead to profitability and cash flow problems. The Value Architecture page allows you to start an innovation process regarding your product range. Starting from your unique original product, you can create new simple products with one functionality added, hybrid products incorporating two new functionalities, up to complex products integrating several new functionalities. Four generation of new products will generate customer value given specific expectations and preferences of each clientele. The innovation process is linear. You are required to develop the previous generation of upgrades before you can move on to the next one. Each year, you can expand your range of products in the existing generation and or develop a new generation of product. The innovation investment cost is high, so a selective approach is recommended. There are other means that can differentiate you from your competitors. Your quality policy can result in ISO 9001-4 certification and your sustainable development policy will result in ISO 14001-4 certification. It is important to note that two conditions are required to efficiently make progress. Invest in one to four labs and select suppliers which are themselves certified at level 1 to 4. Be consistent. One lab assigned to a level 1 supplier will allow you to obtain level 1 certification and so on. This applies to all certifications. Doing this constantly should allow you to progress by one ISO level each year. Finally, the Value Architecture page will allow you to manage the supply chain of your business, like logistics and production. The way to do this is by managing the capacities of your assembly workshops. Assembly capacities is initially limited and will require investments in new workshops in order to allow for growth. These decisions will encompass new investments and increase in operating costs hiring engineers and logisticians. Further detail can be obtained by clicking the contextual help button, indicating by an interrogation point icon. Other production options may appear, depending upon the level of complexity selected by your instructor. Decisions regarding your workforce can be made in Human Resources page. Workforce is affected indirectly by decisions made in previous pages. Clicking on a new operation in the previous decision pages will engage the corresponding investment but also the hiring of the staff concern. Most of your hiring or firing decisions are made automatically by a click activating an action. 
You can also manage your workforce directly by setting the annual salary increase of the different staff categories. This figure should take inflation into account. You also manage the annual training budget per staff category as a percentage of the corresponding payroll. Your social policy is based on the selection of training program on your staff retention policy via profit sharing as a percentage of your operating income, as well as via the health and retirement coverage of your employees as a percentage of the payroll. Finally, your social performance is managed using corporate social responsibility options, integrating internal and external initiatives concerning your stakeholders. This social performance is measured through a CSR index that will, in turn, motivate your staff and increase their productivity and sales efficiency, improve your reputation in global markets, create share value, a quarter of which is generated by your social and environmental responsibility performance. Financial resources can be managed from the finance page. Using the left-hand column, you can complete your financing by calling for new sources of funding, calling for a capital increase within the authorized limit, which is displayed by selecting the contextual help icon, requesting new short or long-term loans that should also be within the authorized limit. If your cash flow allows it, you can also use the right column to buy pack issued shares, which will reduce their dilution effect, reimburse long-term loans before due date in order to reduce your debts and the associated financial costs, distribute dividends to your shareholders, which will possibly boost your share value at the expense of your ability to finance your business future. Calculating your budget in order to properly finance your investments can be complex. Fortunately, Globstrat incorporates a budgeting tool that provides income statement and balance sheet forecast, plus an investment financing table. To generate these forecasts, click the Generate Forecast button at the bottom of the page. Here is an example of this in action. Suppose that we use the value architecture page to invest in two new products as well as in one quality lab and iOS 9001 certified suppliers in order to be consistent and obtain an iOS 9001 certification. What is the corresponding financing need? The project graphs show us that the three metrics are unbalanced. Operating expenses exceed the forecasted revenue. Investment is greater than our current financing capacity. Cash shows a forecasted deficit at the end of the year. Generating the budget forecast allows you to analyze these problems. The sales figures show that they correspond to the objective set. For example, 30,000. In innovation, the conditions for obtaining the iOS 9001 certification are fulfilled in green. In HR, we can see that the decisions made led to an increase of employees from 80 to 91, so hiring 11 people. Looking at profit and loss, we can see that the turnover generates a loss of 400 59k. The balance sheet indicates that we are likely to close the year with a bank overdraft of 2013k. The cost analysis shows a negative margin of minus 1.5% of the selling price. Two alerts are displayed. Finally, viewing the financing plan reveals that the investment of 5000k 2,000 times 2 in innovation plus 1,000 in quality lab is only partially founded by the 3,800k of the initial cash from which the repayment of long-term debts of 1,500k 
is deduced, resulting in only 2,300k available. Their additional founding required stands at 2,700k and is indicated in red, as this amount would block the submitting process. To solve this problem, let's review our decision. In innovation, we can recall one of the two new products leading to a minus 2000k in investment. In finance, we can take out a long-term loan of an additional 1000k. Generating a new forecast shows that the financing problem has been solved and the balance sheet shows a positive cash flow. All the outlets are gone but the forecasted profitability remains at a very low margin of plus 1.4% instead of the 6% achieved in year zero. The profitability may improve with new iterations, adjusting the sales objectives given the forecasted market growth, for instance. However, be careful not to fool yourself by increasing sales or prices unrealistically. It is this type of problem that you will likely be required to solve each year through successive iterations between decision and forecast. If you do not solve your financing problems, you will not be able to submit your decisions, which in turn would block the processing of the entire simulation by your instructor. If you were to end the year with insufficient earnings or cash flow, you would start the following year in a difficult position. Ensure that you balance your founding and profitability correctly in order to close your decisions on time and submit them for processing. If you were unable to submit on time, make sure to inform your instructor. As soon as your instructor has dealt with the current year, you will be notified by email and will be able to see your performance online. This can obviously vary from your budget forecast, especially if you were unable to reach your sales objectives. Enjoy the simulation!